The very mm-hmm, first mm-hmm. time I even heard of the name Lex Luger was on the Rubber Band Business One. I've Word. always, yeah, I've okay. always been a big fan of Juicy J. My brother put me on to him, and just just the way the beats used to knock. Yeah, he the J. goat, man. Shout yeah. out to Juicy J. Man. Yeah, for sure. So, how did y'all even connect and build that brotherhood? Ah, uh, damn. I think he hit me up on Twitter. Mm. Yeah, simple DM. Hit him back, man. You a legend, right? Let's get it. He flew out here to VA, which is crazy. Yeah, we linked up in the studios. Crazy, man. Damn. Yeah. So just kind of reflecting then to now, back with Rubber Band Business one and two to now with the Stone and Night album that dropped in February. Mm. Just overall, all throughout all these years, ten plus years, how's that journey been with him? Oh, just uh, it's been a learning experience, man. Mm. Just uh, just getting the gems, you know. Um, and just learning from him, man, and just, you know, kind of like, it's an honor to work with him. I try not to be a fanboy, right. with, you know, like, but I grew up on his shit, so yeah. everything he do is times 10 to me, you feel what right. I'm saying? So, right. But he, he teach me a lot, man, so I appreciate it. Yeah, and I mean, shit, he been out, bro. And Please. it's fun, it's fucking fun, man. Yeah. It's Uncle Juice, man, he fun as a bitch. So man. he really do be that turned up in real life, Oh, man. yeah, for yeah. sure, man, for sure. Bro, I went to a, a Juicy J and Project Pet concert. By Man, far the most, most ratchet shit I've ever been to, <laughs> in the best way possible. Pat, he That's had- That's what you get. That's yeah, what they give you. Pat had straight BBWs on the stage twerking, <laughs> all heavy hitters. Look, he said, woo, that's your type of time, ain't it? Look, all BBWs on the stage wilding, right? Yep. And Juicy, uh, the DJ, I forgot the DJ name, but the, I'm going to show you the video. You're going to bug out after okay. this. So the DJ was fucking up his, his tracks. He was playing shit that he didn't want. Okay. So Juicy stopped the whole shit. I caught my DJ DJ cocaine because he snorts a lot of fucking cocaine. And he can't never get shit right. Yo, bro, play the motherfucking songs, man. Play Ted the Club or play Who Run It. Play Rod Spinner. Play Symphony Sun. Juice got Hey, 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 stop the, stop the video. Hey, man, play my fucking music, nigga. Man, play my fucking music, man. You playing the wrong shit, bro. I said play Tether Club up, play Rod Spinners, play Sippin' on some Scissor. Somebody say, fuck this nigga. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Play my music, bro. Let me check these things. Juice got weed. I was like, yeah, see, this is why he's a living legend. Yeah. And they've been out for a minute. Right? Yeah, like, bro. I, I remember high school, middle school, even yeah, maybe yeah. listening to Three Six Mafia. Ryan Spinners. Yeah, bro. Yeah. What's your personal favorite project that you did with Juicy? Ah, oh, man. I can't say what I want to say, bro. Mm. Why it ain't out yet? <laughs> Classified. Uh, probably the new project. I'm gonna say the new project, the Stoners Night. Yeah, with um, uh, it was him, and, him and Wiz. Him and Wiz, yeah. Right. And just because, creatively, like I've just grown so much mm-hmm. with my music, mm-hmm. so I'm happy with the work that I put out now. Mm-hmm. I was young at first, right? So it was me learning and trying, right? And not even knowing why, why at one point in my life, like why people fuck with my beats, but like now I'm for sure I know why. I know where I want to go creatively. Mm. You know, but like certain records, like I hate that I've produced. Really? Yeah, bro. Why so? Cause it's it's just like immature work. Mm. It's just you know what I mean. It's yeah. just 